Hey everybody, Nerdy Transformed here again, and today I'm reviewing the Transformers Titan Returns Legends class, Rumble. And yeah, this red one is called Rumble. And the divide in the Transformers community continues. I'm going to refer to him as Rumble since that is the official toy name, but to me he will actually be Frenzy. So Rumble here is a repaint, or it slash remold of uh, Rewind here. And you can see the paint apps are almost exactly the same. There are some differences though. Well, for one thing, uh, Rumble here actually has different colored wheels so they stand out when Rewind's kind of blended in. Take, that could be a good or bad thing because it depending on how you like that. Uh, the tread, even though both of them have painted treads, they are painted differently. With Rewind, he only has the inner part of the treads painted, while on Rumble, he actually has the full treads parts so actually painted too instead of just the inner gears. Um, up here, the paint is eight. The paint where it's applied is the same, but it's a bit more. It's gold instead of red. On the sides or near the turret, you actually have a black painted here, while here the sculpt is left unpainted. And then along the front, it's very different. Uh, Rumble does not have the corners of his tank painted, and the box is only the U the inner U part shaped, while instead of completely blotted paint square like here. So there are a lot of neat little paint differences, as well as uh, his gun's the same color as his turret. So or yeah, I guess I would call this a turret, the upper part of the tank. So it blends in a lot more. Well, it makes it a little less like a gun. Kind of depends on which one you like better. I personally like Rewind's color scheme better, but Rumble's is still pretty nice. And yeah, his gun's a little bent. Um, I'll talk about that later, because this is that same really soft rubbery plastic that was used for his gun, for Rewind's gun. So, but it's a pretty nice tank mode. It does have some heads on top, so you can say take a Type Master, like here's Mind Wipes Type Master. You could just... Uh, peg him on there and you can have him stay on top of the tank or laying back or doing a limbo whichever you prefer there we go but yeah it's a pretty nice little tank mode size comparison rewinds exactly the same as well as combiner wars huffer here and he's your typical legends class but i do like it it does make me think of rumbles or it makes me think of frenzy's color scheme quite a bit can't wait for the blue repaint for rumble slash frenzy which you want to call it. Uh, to transform it to its cell phone, cell phone slash tablet mode, you're going to unclip this and be careful these clips are a little soft rubber so they will could possibly break. So you have to be really careful about that. But the rest of it's pretty simple. Go ahead and you have to slide it outward because that's how it's clipped into the treads there. Then go to the top here and you're going to rotate it. A whole little block there and it'll reveal the Decepticon symbol. Go ahead and try to get on there. Uh, t peg it on and then flip the top parts out onto the flatten it out into a tablet and it does not stay pegged together right here for some reason I'm not sure why then you take the gun and it slides in right here you gotta be careful when you transform this to make sure the gun tick is taken out because I forgot you saw how bit my gun is now and the stickers are actually pretty different if I were to get out rewind here I'm not gonna fully transform but I'm gonna show you at least show you that on Rewind, you got like more of a tape deck with a, uh, with a, as a background for a cell phone. Here you have this more almost like a GPS tracker kind of thing. Now it's kind of hard to describe, but you can see like mountains and landscape and a meter here, equalizer, a log, a scope, you know, just a lot of data. It's really interesting. Very different. You could stand up. It also still has the headphone jack, which if you actually put real headphones into it, it actually has a slight clip in. It's almost like a real cell phone one. It's really interesting detail. But yeah, pretty nice little tablet mode. The back of it, you know, all the robot junk. But I think it's pretty good. I actually like it a little bit more than Rewinds. So, let's come to uh, robot mode. Go ahead and clip the sides off completely. And like I said, be careful about the gun there. Go ahead and kind of try to bend this up out of the way and then pop the gun out. Ah, it's still slightly bent. That's going to bug me forever. But I'm afraid of breaking the damn thing. Alright, so go ahead and swivel it. You want to swivel it so that way the um, arm sculpt on the inside is facing this way with the gold lining. Then you're going to take these and they will fold back on double hinges. They can be kind of hard to clip through, especially because they have these edges there. Then come down to the, where the treads are, pull at them and they'll split. Like it's been trying to do with this whole review. Go ahead and bring them down and rotate them. And straighten them out. Then flip the feet forward. 
go ahead and bring the shoulder parts up and downward. Let's flip it out of the way. Then open up the chest, flip out the head, and there's his head. Oh yeah, one thing I will mention, his stickers are on here a lot nicer. They're they're flat and they stay on pretty well, unlike Rewinds who was trying to flick off. So there we have Rumble in his robot mode. And to go ahead and get the size comparisons out of the way, here he's next to Huffer. And Rewind. And they look pretty good together. Let's get two together, get a good look at them. You can see the details are pretty much in the same spots all over. Like I said, there is a difference where the treads are completely painted on Rumble. Um, another big difference is the chest is completely different paint on it, or Tampo's. He's kind of got this chest plate thing going while he's got more of a cir while Rumble has a more of a circuitry look. Both look pretty good, but I kind of like how the circuitry looks goes with the shoulders here on Rumble. Another weird deco difference is that uh, Rumble's not black. Like Rewind's definitely black. Rumble's kind of got this like yellowish tinge to his, like very, very, very slightly gray. Just like the slightest edge of gray on that black there. Not sure what's going on with that. And of course, their major difference is the head sculpts. And yep, Rumble here has a very Rumble slash frenzy as head sculpt. Head sculpt. Cannot wait for this to be painted in blue to see that how that's going to look. And for one more size comparison, actually, here's a Titan Master. Ooh. And of course, he has his gun. He has a peg hole on the side of his arm that you can put it in, so you can have him, you know, have a kind of a Megatron style one, or either of his hands can hold it. Oh, right, and his little flippy joint's a little loose. And as mentioned, his stickers are a lot nicer. You can see Rewinds is still kind of trying to peel off. Well, this one's pretty flat and nice. No problem so far. My only real complaint is kind of the same complaint I would rewind. I don't really like how the arm's completely hollow. Like, we have one arm covered and one hollow. Why would you do this? I really don't understand because they did it on rewind too. I'm not asking for all this to be filled in, just the actual arm itself to be filled in. You know, that'd be pretty nice. Uh, let's see, I think I showed this with the rewind mold, but you can go ahead and flip these out if you wish. And you kind of get the whole, you know, pounding mode that Rumble always had in the show. So you kind of get that going. And it's fairly believable. Maybe if you do that. Ah, that's a toy. Do what you wish with it. Yeah, that's Rumble for you. It's a pretty nice little repaint slash remold of Rewind. And I'm really happy to see them in these colors. I really hope we get the blue one. I hope we get the repaints for these two. So that way we can have a... Uh, their counterparts to go with, especially with Blaster and Soundwave already being out, and we already have Ravage and Laser Beak. We really need the last one of the final four for Soundwave. And a Rap Bat would be pretty nice. So, yeah, I recommend them. If you want a Rumble for your, a Rumble Clash Frenzy for your, cl for your uh, classic slash generations Transformers, he's a pretty good one. I think he looks a lot better than the United version. So, this has been Nerdy Transformed. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you have a good day. Take care.